Why people are thirsting over Eric Menendez amid Monsters release. Women began writing to Eric Menendez in jail following his high-profile trial and conviction for the murder of his parents in 1996. The case received extensive media coverage capturing public attention due to its shocking nature and the complexities of family dynamics which made Eric a figure of fascination. Many women were drawn to his narrative of trauma especially his claims of childhood abuse seeking to understand his actions. For some women establishing an emotional connection with Eric offered a way to engage with him personally often viewing him through a romantic or sympathetic lens. Eric Menendez responded to some of the letters further fueling interest and curiosity as interactions between him and his fans allowed for a shared exchange of emotions. Eric received thousands of letters from women across the globe while behind bars but one stood out to him a letter from his now wife Tammy which he said gave him a special feeling. Tammy reached out to Eric after her then husband died by suicide writing to him during his initial trial. After reading her letter Eric later shared with People magazine that he felt a unique connection. The couple married in 1999 in the waiting room of Folsom State Prison celebrating their union with a Twinkie as their wedding cake. A video showing clips of Eric Menendez from his trial is now making its rounds sparking social media users to gush over his looks. Holy Jawline the TikToker user captioned the video prompting another to comment not us all thirsting over Eric Menendez. The fact that he's still so fine for his age is lethal another said. Ladies. We have serious issues and I am here for it. A third admitted. Writing to inmates has long been a practice among those intrigued by their stories. After watching Monsters, the Lyle and Eric Menendez story many viewers felt that the project sexualized the brothers sparking a broader discussion about the experiences of abuse victims and survivors. In one scene the Menendez brothers don revealing speedos that showcase their tanned and muscular upper bodies. From this moment on we're going to demand more out of life Lyle says wrapping his hands around Eric's neck in a manner that is both sensual and menacing. He ends his statement by leaning in to kiss his brother on the lips suggesting that this isn't the first time he has felt that impulse and acted on it. As Vulture points out the portrayal of the relationship between the Menendez brothers aims to illustrate the difficulties faced by survivors of childhood abuse in forming healthy connections though this attempt falls flat tonally but at its worst it trivializes the gravity of abuse and blurs the lines between what is deemed steamy and what is genuinely inappropriate. Women started reaching out to Jeffrey Dahmer who was convicted of the horrific murders of 17 young men and boys during his time in prison. Numerous women were captivated by Dahmer for a variety of reasons including the romanticized idea of saving or trying to understand a misunderstood individual. His complex personality and the psychological factors that influenced his actions intrigued many prompting some to express empathy or sympathy for him as someone battling his own inner demons. Dahmer replied to several of the letters he received further engaging his correspondence and heightening their interest. The romanticization of serial killers by some women is a captivating and complex phenomenon fueled by various psychological cultural and social factors. Many individuals are drawn to notorious criminals due to their dark charisma viewing them as enigmatic figures who embody danger and thrill. This fascination is often amplified by media portrayals that depict serial killers as complex characters with tragic backstories leading some to feel empathy or sympathy for them.